okay hello everyone my name is govind and i'm again back with another video where we will be solving tax best interview question that has been asked for the role of power bi and this particular question is shared with me by one of my linkedin connections and this is an interesting question so please be with me till the end of this video and you will have a lot to learn so let me introduce you to the question question is simple you have to just write a measure that calculates the highest monthly sales amount and the respective month for each of the product category so let me tell you about the data i am having sales table product table and date table and these are connected to the sales table this both the tables via one to many relationship so if you can see in the table i am having category coming from the product table total sales which is a measure already calculated it is nothing but the sum of sales amount column and uh, maximum monthly sales so this is this we have to calculate i have already calculated it uh, to make you understand about the question we will calculate it again so uh, in category uh, like uh, in category if i see the accessories so the total sales was this and the highest monthly sales happened in august so we have to find what was the highest monthly uh, sales value like the particular value and the respective month similarly in bikes november wa was the highest uh, monthly s like highest month where the highest uh, sales occurred for clothing in august we have uh, the highest monthly sales which was this amount and for components we have september so this uh, this we have to calculate and both the values are uh, delimited by you can see uh, pipe symbol right so we have to make this new column and this is an year slicer we can filter accordingly I it is highly dynamic so let us start with the calculation so i have already calculated it but i will calculate again i will go here and click on new measure let's name is the name this as uh, max monthly sales to so if you understand so we have to calculate the maximum monthly sales right so we have to somehow bring the data at the monthly level where we just we where we have the table where uh, like uh, for each of uh, the row we have the month stored january to december and the respective sales so we we here need to group the data so what will happen once i will have uh, uh, the data at the granularity of the month like 12 rows and uh, one another column sales column and for each of the month i will have the particular sales amount so i can easily out of those 12 what is the maximum ac amount i can easily pick that particular row right so here we have to try to bring the data to the monthly level so it is like similar to uh, what we do group by in sql so for here index we have summarize function so i will make use of that so variable I'm making use of variable here variable a let's say this variable a and uh, I will make use of summarize so so the first argument in the summarize function is table so table would be my date table because I have to uh, bring the data at the monthly level right so uh, month I will find in my date table I will say the group by column is month name and uh, I will add another column here which is sales I have to give I need to give it in uh, double quotes and I can make use of the amount uh, sorry total sales measure so what it will do it will group the data at the monthly level so since this is a this expression returns the summarizes returns the table so I cannot uh, visualize he uh, this here but I can show you what this particular uh, expression returns so I will copy this and I will make use of this tax query view I will write evaluate so evaluate is the statement after that you can write any table expression and you can uh, see the result of that tax query so this will return the table for me right so that's why I can use evaluate here so this is this is what I'm, I am talking about I have brought the data at the monthly level so now what I can do uh, I, I can like uh, uh, out of these all 12 what is the top first row uh, if sorted by sales I need to find out that so uh, if I tell you I can make use of top end function so top end helps us to sort the data and then pick the rows 
so top n first argument is n value so I have to find out the maximum cell so, so the n value would be 1 second argument it is asking for the table so this would be my table because this particular expression returns a table right this is a table you can see below we just visualize it so this would be the second argument for the top n uh, so it means that uh, I have to pick the first row from this table so this is what the top n function do third argument it is asking for the order by expression so I have to order it by sales and since I want uh, top row so I will sort by descending order so what it will do from this particular table which is this particular table uh, the below table uh, it will pick the first row firstly it will sort this uh, column in the descending order so whichever the row will come at the first index it will pick that row right since we have written here one so let me tell you what does it return so you can see it has only returned first row after sorting the sales column in the descending order so this is what we wanted now I can easily pick this November and I can concatenate this November with this value which is the requirement of the interviewer right so uh, uh, let's get back to the measure not this measure this yeah so I can make use of another variable variable b and I will make use of top n function because top n also returns a table n value would be first table would be a table because in a I have the whole logic stored expression would be sales and sorting criteria would be descending right so this would be variable b uh, we are where I am just having one row table now I can return I can make use of here since I have to pick uh, the value from that particular row right so I can make use of max x function max x uh, uh, helps us to enter into a virtual table because we, d we do not have uh, this uh, let me tell you this is a physical table right where we just having the one row here in the data model we do not have this is a virtual table that we have cre created inside a miser so to enter into a virtual table we need a max x function then we will say that from the month name column what is the maximum value just pick that up so since we are just ho having here first row only one row so the max of one row would be that value itself because it it will not have another value uh, to fetch the maximum if I am just having say 5 in the data and I will say what is the maximum value from this data point so the 5 would be the maximum it would also be the minimum so I can also use a minimum function over here right because I am just having the one row so that's why what we do yeah here so I will say max x and I, why I'm not using max over here uh, I, I will tell you so in max if I open it it asking for the column name and it accepts the physical column the column of the physical table which is the part of my data model not the virtual table right but max x gives us that uh, uh, feasibility to enter into the virtual table so what table you need to enter into so in B because I'm just having one row here and expression what we what I want in my output so I want the month name right so this particular expression would give me the month name for each of the product category what was the month where the highest sales happened I also want to show the value right so I will use here a concatenate operator and uh, I will make use of pipe symbol I can give it in uh, what I can say uh, pi, uh, in double quotes then I also want to show the value so I will again make use of max x so here I am picking up the month name and here from table b I will pick the expression so in expression I will pick the sales so this will uh, this will give me suppose this this has evaluated as uh, November and 
this is the respective cells of that one row and this is the pipe symbol so it will concatenate both the values i will hit enter now let us see so you can clearly see i have successfully calculated uh, uh, for each of the category what is my maximum monthly sales so this is what interviewer has asked so yes that's all about this question and i hope my explanation was easy if you are having uh, having any feedback so please do let me know into the comment section and if you know any other solution <laughs> to this particular uh, question so please uh, drop your solution into the comment section i would be happy to see that and you can also check another videos uh, which is based on the power bi interviews by checking my channel so do check it out and yes also like and share this video and subscribe to my youtube channel i will see you next video thank you